So guys, what do you want to do today? You guys want to make a gumball machine? Cody, how would we make a gumball machine? We don't even know how to make one. Yeah, we never made one in our life, dude. Well, I have this gumball machine maker. Whoa, is that a gumball machine making kit? Yeah. Dude, this is dope. Wait, no, this is a gumball machine maker. What are you talking about? This is a machine that makes gumball machines. No, I think this just makes a gumball machine. No, no, no. See, if I called you a pizza maker, Cody, that means you make pizzas, right? Yeah. So this is a gumball machine maker, so it makes gumball machines. I think it just makes one gumball machine. Then I'm suing them because it says gumball machine maker, so when I put a quarter in this machine, it better pop out a gumball machine. Junior, I don't think this company has a lot of money. Wait, well, look, it says right here, from ages 6 through 12 plus. Why doesn't it just say 6 plus? Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. I don't even think a 6 year old could make a gumball machine, let alone a machine that makes gumball machines. And right here it says customize your gumball machine in nearly limitless configurations, but right here it says it's only 12. Well, it does say nearly limitless, so I guess the limit is 12. It was either going to be 12 or infinity and they couldn't make infinity work. But hold on, my phone's ringing. Hold on, guys, it's my mom. Hello, mommy. Did you call to give me kisses through the phone? I have my lips up to the phone. I'll feel them. Cody, I'm leaving your father. Ugh, what is it this time? I caught him cheating on me. I had a tape recorder in his car, and I heard him banging eight other women in one week. It was only eight! Look, one for each day of the week. Uh, seven days in a week. Damn, I forgot. I hit two in one day. I got a little greedy, and now you want to punish me? I'm tired of your cheating, Tyrone. I don't even want to cheat. I'm out here trying to help these women. I'm a giver. Look, I'm just trying to help. God gave me this penis for a reason. Oh, you're so generous. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Finally acknowledging it. God, woman. Well, anyway, Cody, I'm coming to pick you up and I'm going to take you to Prairie Village, Kansas. You're going to visit your Aunt Faye and your Uncle Skeeter. Ugh, I don't like Uncle Skeeter. He makes me sit on his lap and he looks at me weird. Now, Cody, you know Uncle Skeeter has a glass eye because the town shot him with a BB gun for being weird around kids. Yes, that's exactly my point. It's okay, Cody. He's on probation. You don't have to worry. I'll be there in five minutes. <sighs> Guys, I gotta go to Kansas. Why Kansas? Well, my mom's leaving my dad again. They'll get back together. She just likes to leave every now and then to pretend she still has dignity. <laughs> Is that her already? Yeah, she drives like a maniac. You know what would be funny? If I answer the door and tell her you're not even here, like you've been missing. Sure, it's not like she's going through a lot or anything. I'll go hide in the bathroom so she gets extra worried. Okay, hello. Hey there, I'm here to pick up Cody and take him to Kansas to see his Uncle Skeeter. Uncle Skeeter is very excited. Maybe a little too excited. Who's Uncle Skeeter? Oh, he's Cody's creepy uncle. He has a glass eye and he likes to put it in his pocket and make Cody fish around for it. That silly Uncle Skeeter. I keep telling him the town's gonna come back for his other eye, but he just won't listen. Oh, well, Cody's not here. What? I just talked to him on the phone. No, Cody's not here. He hasn't been here in like a week. Oh. Well, can I come in anyway? I'm sad. Sure. Thanks for letting me inside. For future reference, you shouldn't let strangers in your house. I found that out the hard way when I was 11. We were about to make this gumball machine maker. Oh, cool. I left my husband for cheating on me. He's a serial cheater, and now he won't let me back in the house. So where are you and Cody going to live now? Well, we're going to stay with Uncle Skeeter for a while, and then after that, we're probably going to be homeless. That's okay. I've been homeless before. I lived on the streets when I was 12. No way! You were actually homeless? Born and raised. Oh, have you ever lived in a dumpster? Oh, I've done everything in a dumpster. I OD'd, I've got DP'd, I've got COPD, and I got arrested by the NYPD. You name it. That's that's crazy! Have you ever eaten a rat? Oh, I love rat. I still eat it sometimes. Oh man, I love me a good rat shish kebab. Oh, it's delicious, but it's so hard to find a damn stick. Mm. Have you ever grabbed a possum and just shaken it really fucking hard until it bit you? Oh, that's my favorite game to play. I always get like four seconds though. Seven seconds right here. Oh, you're a savage. Man, I don't know why your husband would cheat on you. You're pretty cool. Yeah, maybe I'm just an ugly honky. Nah, you're not ugly. You know, you're a solid four. Maybe a four and a half on a good day. Really? You mean it? Yeah, yeah, you got green eyes and shit. Oh, you're so nice. Dude, like, Cody's mom is actually pretty chill. Yeah, I mean, you guys are getting along really well. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Oh, when I lived in New York, I used to pee in the subway, the restaurant. I'd sit at one of the tables and just let it go. They thought somebody spilled lemonade, but no, to their surprise, piss. Oh, come on. No way. Hey, Cody, what are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Hold on. I, I need your opinion. Which one looks bigger? Ew, Cody, I don't want to see that. Oh, come on, bro. Be cool. It's not weird. That's weird. I don't want to see that. Tell me which one looks bigger. No homo. C come, pretend it's not mine. But one or two. Tell me. Here's one. There's two. One. 
Or two. Can I see one again? Okay. There's one. There's two. Two. Why two, though? Because I, I don't know. But what is it about two that makes you like that one? Uh, I guess the angle. Oh, the angle. Okay. I'll remember that. Okay. So to check one again. Yeah, two. Okay, two. Good. So you liked two. That's good to know. Why are you even taking those photos? Well, you know, I just, I was peeing and I thought, damn, it's looking good today. And I wanted to remember that. Hey, Junior, what has 32 teeth and holds back the Incredible Hulk? What? My zipper. <laughs> Not in those photos. Yeah, you're right. Looks more like Jack Jack. But just wait until it gets angry. <laughs> so anyway, is my mom crying because she's so worried about me? Uh, no, she's actually talking with Joseph and having a good time. Joseph, why? Like, they've both been homeless before and they just, like, they, they, they're they bonding about being homeless. Oh, well, that's dumb. Well, come on. I gotta go to Kansas. And then the homeless guy lost the bet, and I got to bite his finger off. <laughs> oh, Joseph, you are a who? Oh, uh, yeah, you're not too bad yourself, mama. Come on, mom, let's go to Kansas. Now, hold on, Cody. I think I want to stay here for a few more hours and hang out with your friend Joseph. Why, mom? That's weird. Hop off. Now, Cody, I can have friends. I'm going through a lot right now. Yeah, she's a grown woman. Let her live. Hey, ginger kid, you got a bathroom, or do I have to pull a subway right here on your couch? Oh, uh, the bathroom's down the hall. Thanks. I gotta take a front shit. What does that even mean? Yo, Cody, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You have one of the coolest, most bangable moms ever! Wow, thanks, Joseph. But, uh, wait, what was that one word you just said? Coolest? No, after that. Most? After that. Mom. Before that. Oh, oh, bangable, bangable. Yeah, that word. W w what the hell's that about? I totally put your mom through it. She's a MILF. I will bang the hell out of her. Throw it against the wall and make sure the neighbors know my name by the next morning. Uh, okay, well, first of all, no, no, you cannot do that. Why not? Because you're just a kid. No, no, no. I could be your stepdad, dude. No, you could not be my stepdad. What? what why not? Dude, age is just a number. No, it is not just a number to her. It's the law. She could go to jail. I don't know. She she messed with me like that. You feel me? W wait, who are you texting? Oh, your mom. But how the hell did you get her number? She gave it to me on the couch. She fucked with a nigga. No, she doesn't fuck with anybody. No, okay, how about this? How about this? Uh, new friend rule. Rule number one. We cannot get with each other's moms. No, you can't make up a rule like that, dude. You're the only one with a mom. Yeah, and also, didn't you bang my dad? Yeah, but I was in Chef Peavy's body, and that's not even one of the rules. See, you already broke the rules. Wait. So Joseph can bang your mom if he's in Chef Peavy's body. Yeah, if he's in Chef Peavy's body, I guess. Okay. It's weird. Yeah, go go, in, go get in Chef Peavy's body and then you can do it. I'm not doing that, dude. No, I don't approve of any of this. Hey, Joseph, I made you this friendship bracelet out of pipe clean as I found in the bathroom. I learned how to make those in heroin rehab. Each stripe is for every time I think about relapsing. Oh wow, that's awesome! You actually made this for me? Yeah, you're my best friend, Joseph. Mom, stop! This is weird. Cody, I lost my husband. I should at least be able to distract myself with a friend. Yeah, another chocolate brother. <laughs> hey, Joseph, you want to go to the movies? We could see Hunger Games. Oh, I love Hunger Games. That documentary is actually about me. I'm so hungry. Yeah, we could buy popcorn with my husband's credit card until he cancels it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Joseph's so weird. Okay, Joseph, eat your popcorn. You're a growing boy. Yes, ma'am, I am. There's always so many movie previews. How do they always keep making so many movies? And there's like a thousand people that work on every movie. How do they afford to pay all of those people? Movies are expensive. Ooh, I think you have something on your lip. You mind if I... What the fuck are you doing? What? I, I just wanted a kiss. That's fucking weird. How? No, look, I thought we were dating. I thought we were just friends. No, no, no. I was trying to take advantage of this vulnerable opportunity and get some smooching. Oh, hell no. You're just like my husband. Oh, wow. Really? Yo, Cody, why is your mom such a fucking tease? What are you talking about? She invited me to the movies on some freak shit and I was down. I leaned in for a kiss and she turned me down. My mom was not on some freak shit. Oh, yes, yeah, she was. She bought popcorn. Trying to wind it down the young nigga, and I was down for it. I leaned in for some smooching, and she act brand new. You tried to kiss my mom? She wanted me to kiss her. Apparently not. It's alright though. She wanna act brand new. I'm gonna be on some hater shit. Oh, you wanna waste a nigga time? Oh, I know the perfect person that loves his time wasted. Junior, you wanna turn? Oh, I don't wanna turn. Joseph, you never even had a turn. And that's why I'm mad. She deserves to give me a turn. I'm owed a turn. No, she doesn't owe you anything. She just wanted to be friends. Yeah, yeah. She wanna be friends. And I wanted loving from a woman. She couldn't even give me that, so forget her. Come on, Cody. It's time for us to go to Kansas. Your little friend tried to kiss me. Hey, yo, bitch, check your phone. Oh, that's mean. What's it say, Mom? It says, if you want to waste a... 
racial slurs time, you should let my friend Junior have a turn. Yeah, Junior, have a turn. Add a boy, but just know it's gonna be wasted time. She ain't gonna give it up for nothing. Oh, my husband's calling me. Hello? Hey, baby, I miss you so much. Now, now, please, hear me out. Hear me out. What if I only cheat on you five times out of the week? Really? You do that for me? Yeah, baby. I give up the mother three hoes. They ain't nothing. They smell like fish bowls anyway. Oh, Tyrone, that's true love. I know, baby. I love you so much. Now come home and let me get some of that macaroni and cheese. Okay, we'll be home soon. Well, good news, Cody. We don't have to go to Kansas anymore. I'm back with your daddy. Okay. Yeah, I feel sorry for him, though. She's never going to give it up. I'm so excited to see your daddy. Hey there, Cody! Uncle Skeeter, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to see my favorite nephew. Y'all are taking forever to come up to the canvas, so I came down here to see my boy. <laughs> uh, I think it's time for us to play our favorite game. Where is Uncle Skeeter's eyeball? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I think it's in my pants. Cody, Cody, reach in to feed my eyeball. I'm good. Get it, come on. No. Come on. No, thank you. Come on, get scared of the eyeball. Mm. Ooh.